Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment down below. Charleston White got hit up, guys. Charleston White got hit up. He was in Dallas. Uh, let me get right into it, guys. Let me know where you guys are from. If you're a Charleston White fans, let me know down in the comment section. And let's get right into this. So basically, the news is coming out. The details. We just spoke to the dancer. And what she's saying is that in the middle of her routine, Charleston White went to adjust himself and he accidentally popped himself in the leg two times. Now, they had to rush him out. His security guard, big homie Kevo, came and picked him up with his two arms and literally carried Charleston White out. And they had to go out the back and exit through the kitchen and basically into a Tahoe where they quickly left and got onto the highway to go to the nearest medical center that, so that Charleston White could get treated, put pressure on it. And he, they, were, they were last seen leaving and putting a t-shirt wrapping around Charleston White's leg. And that's how you know he got hit up in the leg. He basically was on the ground at first when you heard two loud bangs and everybody in the club was turning around and looking. And then the the, uh, the dancer girl kind of screamed and you knew that it was in Charleston White's section. So the next thing that happened is that the security ran right up to Charleston White and they saw him leaking on the ground. And you could see through his jeans that it was a stain and it was a wet come, like liquid and so next thing that happened is Charleston White is rolling on the ground. He's like, give me up, give me up. We got to go. We got to go. So he picks dude, like dude, big homie Kevo, his security guard, picks Charleston White up and he runs as fast as he can down. Now, he's a big dude, so he could carry Charleston White. And everybody knows Charleston White is like a scrawny, lightweight dude. And so he has a lot of baggy clothing. And so the strap that he had on him, his holster, he might not have had that. So it adjusted. His holster was not with him. And so he wasn't properly doing the safety things. And that's allegedly. Now, the details are saying that, you know, that um, he was wearing uh, maybe something loose. And, you know, he hasn't been using his strap a lot. He's been using the pepper spray. And so his training might might have like got a little bit rusty. And so he might not have popped out with the correct um, holster. And then that caused the situation to where when he went into the dance club and, you know, the lady was doing her routine. The mans couldn't handle what was going on. She was too thick. And basically, he had to go and adjust himself. And the strap moved in an irregular position that caused it to fire two shots and two rounds into his own legs, guys. This was a self-inflicted wound. This was not anybody running up on him. I know that we have a lot of crazy news going on nowadays about, you know, rappers and bloggers and this and that. But at the end of the day, guys... This was Charleston White's own mistake. And the things that he went wrong with was that basically he should have had hit his strap on the side instead of in the front. And at the end of the day, he had it on the front hip instead of on the side hip. And basically what you got to do is always have some type of holster to where it is secured to where you got to like reach in to grab it and so we don't know what he was doing if he's seen somebody or if he was really like if it was about to fall down his leg or anything like that but at the end of the day that's something that you can't have uh go wrong because if he didn't hit himself and he hit the girl or he hit somebody else this would be a bad bad situation for charleston white because due to the fact that he's already on papers and so now we don't know like he already did a lot of time guys like he i think he did like 20 years or something like that we don't like i think i don't know the exact number but drop it down below in the comment section if you know if you're a, a few uh, um charleston white statistics expert and so basically we don't know if he's going to get in trouble from this due to the fact that he actually got hit caused the scene discharging of a firearm i mean what do you think like inside of a club that's going to be something right in the business now is like i think they stayed open or whatnot like you know they're gonna probably um they're probably not happy with the fact that he got into the place with it and that's a malfunction of the security protocol like you got to understand that they have metal detectors and they won the they wanted every single person down how did charleston white get through it because they went through the back the same way they got out is the same way they got in and so anybody that knows anything about you know people who um I have a big name and so now they go through the back door like they're Jay-Z or something, right? And basically they don't have to check into the security in the front so they can have whoever knows what, right? It's the same thing that goes with how uh, rappers have their entourage go through the backstage whenever they pull up. And so that way they can have a Draco on them or something on them or they can bring in the 
the Zaza or they could bring in a bottle of liquor, a bottle of Hennessy without having to get searched at the security. Right. So you see what I'm saying. And so the fact that he was able to get into a venue that normally wouldn't allow to have the straps. I mean, this is Dallas, Texas, though. So he 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 probably was allowed to have everything in it. You know, he probably had his things tucked and concealed and he probably had his permit and his card on him and everything but at the end of the day the issue must have been with the fact that he might not have had the right holster or the fact that he could have been too tipsy a lot of rumors are going around saying that he was drinking something he has this strong drink that he has made that he's about to be selling and he got into some deal with right with a drink company and so he might have been off of that who knows but he could have been just a little messed up and kind of been you know who knows accidentally moved something and thought he was grabbing the handle and accidentally with his pinky or something but at the end of the day guys it's like it could be dark in the place and it, it was a total accident like he didn't do this on purpose and so you just guys have to just to remember to be safe and now to learn from this lesson to where if you ever end up in the club and something like that you got to move extra careful you can't just be adjusting all over the place and not being able to sit in the same position still first of all you can't blow your cover and let everybody know you got it on you like that by hitting yourself in the leg i mean that's one thing you can and he must have had one in the chamber one in the head or something like that so you know how charleston white is he's a lot of people probably looking for him looking after him because of the fact that you know he shows his face and he's actually like saying a lot more crazier things than most bloggers and he stands on a lot of stuff and he's literally calls out and gets into arguments with leaders of certain groups and all that stuff right and that's why he has to carry one in the head and walk around with it with no safety on and basically have it in a janky holster where he has to be able to access it very quick and so when you got pressure on you like that and you moving like that in the streets and you got to be on the road traveling going here and going there because his main source of income is getting through with interviews right and it's not like he could i mean he does his lives and all that but he says not all of his pages be making the bread so the fact that he's traveling on the road he could get caught up especially when he's going to clubs and this and that you've seen what happened to pmb rock you've seen what happened to trouble you've seen what happened to all these people right and so now it's like charleston white is moving around so crazy tr like trigger happy to make sure like nobody gets him and he got his pepper spray and whatever on him it's like dang now that he fidgeted and twitched and accidentally hit himself and so you got to understand that the paranoia has to play a part into it too like he might be paranoid to where you know he has to adjust it in case somebody like if it's not easy to get to because the lady is on him and stuff doing her dance routine right and so like that's something that you got to think about he probably was trying to get his strap into a different position to where um he could easily access it in case some type of trouble uh altercations arose inside the club but if you got to learn anything from this guys it's just that you know try not to be in a situation and try not to live the type of life where you got to be doing something like this and and having to be everywhere with your stuff at all time have a strap on you at all times i mean you know what i'm saying like it's only you got to do it to protect yourself but at the end of the day you can't be fooling around and adjusting and not being aware that you got it on you and then accidentally have it pop off that's the worst thing ever so what y'all gotta realize is is that you need to subscribe to this channel like this video comment down below and i'm gonna catch you on the next one